Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to be talking about how to tune your guitar using reference pitches. Now by reference pitches I mean that you're going to be getting the sound source from somewhere else, i.e. not a tuner kind of thing. Now uh, this could be for loads of different reasons. For a lot of people it's the first way they learn to tune their guitar. You know, they go to a website or you get a pitch pipe, you know, the, like a little harmonica thing that you blow into and it plays one note, which would be, you know, one of the notes and you've got to tune your string to it. That's what I had when I was growing up before I could afford an electric tuner. Um, but there are other times too, like maybe you're playing with a piano and the piano is not in tune. And you can't expect a piano player to retune themselves to your guitar even if you're in tune with a tuner or whatever. So uh, you need to learn how to tune from another source. Uh, now, the f really the only thing you need for that is to be able to know the names, the note names of your strings. Now, maybe many of you will know that already, but uh, for those of you who don't, starting from the thicker string, it's an E, an A, a D, a G, a B, and an E. Now, it's really important that you remember those note names, of course. There's a whole lesson on that using funny little rhymes and stuff, so go and check out the website if you're not uh, familiar with the names of the notes of the strings. But uh, what you need normally, you'd need to ask someone to give you a note. So you would say, hey man, can you give me an E so I can tune up, please? And they're going to play a note E. But on the guitar, there are lots of different E's, what we call different octaves. So this is an E, and this is an E. And even though they're both E's, and you could in theory tune one off of the other, if somebody gives you an E and it's way different to the one you were expecting, you could always ask them to give you a lower E or a higher E. Right? Sometimes that might not be possible, sometimes it will be. Okay? If you're using pitch pipes, you'll have two E's on there. One will be the low one, one will be the high one. So if you play one and it's really high, then it's the one that you're going to use for your thinner string. And if it's kind of low, it'll be the one used for your thicker string. Now you can also use this reference pitching like on my website, I've got little sound files for you. So if you want to tune up, you just hit the one that says E and it'll play the E note a few times. But there's also a little bit of technique involved with this that I want to mention to you. So one thing you want to do is not try and play at the same time as the reference pitch. Right? That always gets a little confusing. So what you want to do is you go, hey man, give me an E, or you play an E if you're using a, my website or whatever, you hit the play on the E button. You listen to the note, and then you play your note. And you try and listen to whether your note needs to go up or down. Right? Sometimes it can help to sing it. So see, if I'm, uh, if I'm tuning the pitch A, I'll just detune this a little bit, and I've said, give me an A, and I've heard that, and then I play mine, I go, whoa. Oh, it's lower. One trick that I use all the time is I sing the note. So, somebody's played me that. Is that a tune? So learning to sing one pitch and hold it kind of steady while you tune up is not a bad little trick for it either. You don't have to, right? I, did, I didn't do the singing part for many years actually, to tell the truth. I was just kind of, you know, struggling along with my little kazoo pitch pipe things and uh, I'd play a note and fiddle about. Now it takes practice. A lot of guys kind of get a bit disappointed that they couldn't tune up straight away, but tuning the guitar takes practice, just like everything else, like getting chords and learning scales and getting your picking good and all of that sort of stuff, takes practice. So don't be disappointed if you can't tune your guitar straight away. Now if you're a beginner, which I suspect many of you will be watching this video, I strongly recommend that you get a guitar tuner. They're relatively inexpensive these days and it means that when you play your guitar and when you're practicing it, it's going to sound nice, right? So if you can afford to get yourself an electronic tuner, any electric tuner, Right, that it's it's a lot better idea than trying to do it by reference pitches. Reference pitches, great idea, useful skill to learn, as is a couple of the other techniques that I'm going to show you later on in this series. But really, if you're a beginner, get yourself a tuner. It's a it's a, it's a really good idea. So uh, I hope that helps you uh, in your quest to get your guitar in tune. And I'll see you plenty more lessons very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.